What's up, y'all? It's Dre, Dre Trades here, and I want to talk about this crazy market, right? And I want to talk about Amazon specifically. I want to talk about the support and resistance levels of Amazon specifically, but it kind of, you can kind of extrapolate it to all stocks, man. I mean, gosh, this market is unbelievable. I mean, Amazon straight down. All of these stocks are straight down. We should have actually seen it, right? Because un under the underlying, you know, like the big techs were holding the market up, but if you looked further, Right. With the microscope, stocks were getting destroyed down 50, 60, 70 cent percent, especially everything that was going up when the market was like popping. <laughs> right. When the market right after the COVID when I right when all those kind of stocks was just going to the moon. It's crazy. Remember, my videos were like, oh, I hate stocks that's going straight up. Well, all of those same stocks are just going straight down and many of them are even lower <laughs> or, or right at or lower than when they started that move up. So it's unbelievable right now. And then, so the big tech, now it's coming at the big tech, right? Just going down, Netflix down 25% in one day, a quarter of its value gone. Cause it's, that's, in, that's incredible, right? So Amazon's hitting, right? 3,000, then 2940. I'm kind of going with the 2940, but that whole area is the support level, right? It's a huge stock. So you can't really go to the dollar, <laughs> Amazon, it's a huge stock, right? 1% of, of Amazon is 30 points, right? So you just can't do that. Uh, half a percent is 15 points. All right, so um, what am I getting at, basically? It's a bear market. It's risk off. I'm gonna, it's almost a bear market. Well, it's correction almost. It's getting there, right? A lot of stocks are in bear market territory. That's what I'm saying. It's not officially a bear market, but all the stuff, when you go deep into it, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it's a bear market. Everything is risk. It's risk off. It does it. So basically what I'm getting at. All right. Let's see if I can sum this up. Levels don't matter. Right. So I've been talking about Amazon stopping at 2940. If it goes through that going down to 2500. I mean, that or it's already down almost 20 percent. If it goes to 25 down to 2500, that is uh, like another 15 percent or so down to the downside. It's just getting destroyed. They don't care. They, like. When, when you have a market like this that's selling off, specific stock levels do not matter. They are selling everything, right? They're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You see that in Netflix. You see that in a lot of stocks. It's risk off, right? I'm selling crypto. I'm selling everything. I don't care because people are scared. They want to preserve their money. So that's basically the sum of this video. When you want to, we should look at support and resistance of the entire market, like the SPY, the QQQs, that will work better versus an individual stock specific kind of story of looking at support and resistance. Hell no, it's not going to hold this. The whole market's selling off. It's not thinking about one stock, right? So um, you can't, so I just want to say that, you know, so as Amazon was kind of going down and the reason why Amazon, <coughs> excuse me, is down, right? I was holding, it was holding for a year and a half. I'm like, come on, baby, pop. And the reason why I thought it was going to go higher is because the market was going higher. But guess what? It's going to go lower because the market is going lower as well. So yeah, and it's and the levels just don't matter. The market is not typing in Amazon and looking at support and resistance line. They are selling everything. This is an asset. They're selling it. <laughs> so if that's the kind of market we're in and hopefully it stabilizes and when it starts to go back up or be a more rational, maybe those support and resistance levels would work and hold a little bit better, worked a little bit better, I should say, in the stock market. And then hopefully they'll come back to it. Now, Amazon, personally, 2500 will be an excellent deal. I think everybody will be in. That's the level that it was at basically before the, the breakout. I mean, and, and, and I see a lot of stocks doing that. Like uh, uh, Chipotle, I think, is a stock that's doing that. There's so many stocks right now that the levels is, it's, it's, yes, it's time to start buying, man. Get your list and say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to buy some stocks. <laughs> Decide what you want to buy and buy because they are selling everything. It's a sale. It's a fire sale in the stock market. <laughs> anyway, I got to go. Hopefully y'all and, uh, enjoy this video. I don't do too many of this, this style. Cause I, I have time to get on the computer today and kind of go through some stocks, which I want to do. I think that's going to be the next video. I want to go through my entire watch list of everything that I watch. And I, I don't think I ever really reveal that. And it's kind of my gauge of the whole market. Um, yeah. And let's just see, let's just see how it's, how it's doing. Maybe I'll, no, nah, I got to talk about Amazon. You know, I talk about that. 
but yeah, I'm getting destroyed, bro. You know, I'm I'm long Amazon. I'm I'm getting destroyed. The, and everybody's kind of getting killed. If you're long stocks, you're getting killed. <laughs> okay, you just everything is is going down, right? So it's it's you, there's no you can't save yourself. You know how you save yourself? Cash. You just got to get out. You just got to get out and wait. And and are you gonna time it right? Because we're gonna we're gonna wake up. Usually something like this will end. And the market's up a thousand points, up fifteen hundred, right? And then some of those favorite stocks that you wanted to get in there, you missed it. You missed the low. I'm gonna say you missed it, but uh, you know, just try to do your best and ride it out. I'm in those long leaps. I'm still getting destroyed, even though I'm in way out. Those positions are getting destroyed, so I have to uh, kind of rework it. But I'm not too concerned because I'm in a high quality name and. I got two years, two years. That's a long time from now. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. I remember in the 2000 bubble, and I hope we're not entering an era like that because remember I talk about it all the time that we, the market didn't come back up. It took two years for it to come back up. No, I should say, sorry, I take that back. It actually took a little longer, but it took two years. The, the downtrend lasted two years long. And Amazon was like 130, 20 or something. It went down to five dollars. Right? It, it was it, so supporting the resistance. Hmm, no, no, five dollars. You know, we could have scooped up so much stuff in that dot com bubble. I mean, they was throwing everything out. But you're scared. You're like, oh my god, Amazon's five out dollars. It might go to two dollars. I, I, I'm not putting my money in there. You're just scared. You know. So, uh, but that's was the thing to do. And I wish, oh man, damn. <laughs> not only was they, it was a lot of sales, man. Those are just a lot of sales. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'm going to uh, talk to you guys later. Subscribe, like, hit the comments. Tell me what you think about the market. What are you in? What are you, well, tell me what your list, right? What What's on your list that you're ready to scoop up right now? I bought some Bitcoin today. I bought, I bought three things. I bought some Facebook and I bought some I think I bought some Amazon when it broke that uh, 2900 I bought a little bit of Amazon stock. And that's no options. So Facebook, Bitcoin, and Amazon. Bought some more of it. All right, so thanks for watching, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Peace.